Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fees Papercraft. Today I wanted to talk to you about a stamp set and framelit set or thinlet set called Bike Ride. There's two reasons why I wanted to talk about this set. One, because this set offers a great opportunity uh, for the masking technique. And this is because, as you can see, the bike is made up of sections. It's not a whole bike that you stamp out. So you need to mark, if you're going to stamp it, you need to mask off areas so it looks realistic or looks like a, a bike should be. It's also, with the thinlets, makes, well, obviously the thinlets make the masking very easy because you've got the bike frame there. So you die cut that out and you can mask and you can get on with, with the stamping and everything like that. You also got a few extra dies in here. They've got bunting, love bunting. A few extra dies here, which you can use um, to accent your stamped images. You've got butterfly, you've got tassels, which you know you can put onto your bike uh, as it rolls away. And this is a little embossing plate. This actually embosses cobbles onto your cardstock. So those are the different elements. So you've got the, the, the stamp, set and framelits, thinlets sorry. I also want to discuss this set because I got this set free. I went to Stamping Up on stage live in April and Stamping Up hold conventions if you like uh, on stage live twice a year um, and they also do on stage local which are local events. The On Stage Live, which I was fortunate to go to in Amsterdam in April, was the main event where Sarah Douglas and the other senior leadership team were there to present and introduce new annual catalogue. And we got lots of freebies. And we got lots of time to play. And this is one of the freebie sets that we got. So I wanted to use this set for two reasons. One, because it's great for masking technique and also decoupage. But two, to also say, come to Stampin' Up! Join Stampin' Up because you can go and get free stuff. You can go to convention, you can meet other demonstrators, other people as much enamoured about Stampin' Up as you are and have great fun. So if that's something that appeals to you, join my team. Anyway, let's get on. So I'm doing a simple thank you card because it's coming to the end of the um, school year. So what I've got there, I've got a Whisper White card front and I've just done a, wa a water wash uh, with Clipso Coral and Indigo Blue and those are the colours I'm using. I'll explain why I'm using those colours. I think they're lovely retro colours which I think suit the stamp set. But first of all what we're going to do, we're going to stamp the bike frame on and this is the area that we're mainly going to be masking. Now with masking what you're doing, you're blocking out an area. Um, let me just get that wipe up. You're blocking out an area so you can stamp around it and it gives you depth and uh, percep perception into your card. So we're just going to stamp this first into the indigo blue. I'm just going to, now I have, I don't know if you can see very well, but I have embossed it with the cobbles so I'm just going to try and line it up so we get um, the wheels more or less on the cobbles. And it all stays in. There we go. So that's my indigo blue. Let's clean my stamp. I'm not too worried that it hasn't stamped perfectly. That's me. Uh, it's obviously a big stamp, so use um, a uh, stamp mat. The next one, I'm going to do some black wheels. My black ink pad is a little bit dry. So this is where we use our mask. This is the die cut I made. We're just going to put this over like that. And we're going to stamp wheel number one. I hope we get that in the right place. Press down. I really should say what I have done wrong is I've die cut this in card. Die cutting card is never a good idea. You want to die cut in uh copy of paper, ordinary printed paper. You want your mask to be as thin as possible so you have the smallest amount of gap. You're going to get a gap around where the mask is because obviously you've got a second layer of guard. Um, so if you use copy of paper, it's a bit lighter and it doesn't happen. There we go. That's the other one. Okay, I'll take the stamp off. Now we've got an inner rim which uh, we'll do an indigo blue again. 
this is a little tricky as you can see my stamp sets are quite well used and um they are um quite difficult to see through um so it makes it a little bit difficult remember to put your mask on fiona there we go line that up again I don't think I've got that quite right, but never mind. I'm not too worried about it being 100%. Um, I think I've used these colours because I think they look quite 1950-ish, which I think is kind of how the stamp set feels to me, and also to the way that you fill in all the colours. Because you've got these little stamps now, which you can use to add colour to the seat, the... Um, Candle bars and the foot pedals. So we're going to do that. I'm going to use Calypso Coral. That's it, all the way around. And I'm not too worried if they don't actually match into the lines. I'm not too sure, maybe you can help me. I'm sure there's an artist where it looks like the, the internal colouring is slightly of the um in fact i'm getting it perfect now aren't i and i'll show you what i mean there's, there's something in the 1950s where you can see where they it's not quite the outline doesn't match the internal coloring but um hey ho there we go so that's done that's my bike now i said this set was also good for decoupage because you've got the framelits uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to put the greeting on. I'm using the Thoughtful Thanks set. I'm just going to do, this is going to be a teacher card, you see, uh, for my daughter, my daughter's teacher. She also retires this year. I'm going to do it in the um, Indigo Island again. Plunk that up there. Oh... Like what I've done. Look what I've done. Oh well, it doesn't matter for this. So what I did was that I have die cut some elements. So we have got, so I'm just going to stick that on. And I've decoupaged them up. I should really have the fine tip glue for this. But we'll just um, use this. We've also got some new glue sheets which you could use it for. I know that's not quite right in the area, but that's fine. And what I've got, what they've also released, is some mini dimensionals which are beautiful. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my, I'm going to use these, I'm going to put my wheels on first, I'm going to follow the same kind of, my hands all sticky now, I don't need too much, I'm going to put the wheels on first, I have stamped it underneath because sometimes with decoupage you can see that first layer. And I like the look of it. There we go. We can't see the cobbles now. All right, I might need to stack these up. So one there. So I'm going to put one there. And ooh, I'm going to put one there. So this is where I'm going to need to do two. And two there. Oh, I'm losing that. Look, I'm all fingers and thumbs. I don't know what I've done. I forgot to take the sticky off the first layer, didn't I? 
that was sunny, wasn't it? So that's going to do the same thing. So you've got these nice little mini dimensionals. Okay. So line that up. There we go. And then I've got these stack of books which are going to go in the back. And I've done these ones three times. So we're now to stamp and die cut. You're able to give that extra dimension, that extra lift to it. Well, I've got a little butterfly here. So again, I'm just going to stick that on. I've left it white, but obviously um, you can decorate this any way you want. You can cut it out of coloured cardstock. You can cut it. Um, I don't think I'm going to disguise that too much, but we'll figure something out. We're crafters, we know what to do, don't we? Put a bit of glitter on it, it'll cover it up. There you go. And the last thing I wanted to do was just using a fine liner, I'm just going to draw some wiggly lines. Now these don't have to be perfect. Oh, she says. There's a couple of wiggly lines and they can cross and meander. This will just draw the eye in. Okay, I'll just leave a gap there. Okay, and then what the wigglier the better, really. Just gives it a little border. There we go. And that will go onto my card blank. So I've just got an A6 card blank. I'll just give it a line of Calypso coral, a matter of Calypso coral, sorry. Huh. Try and get that straight. And there we go, a thank you card. So I've used the masking technique to um, so we can uh, bring things to the forefront. So when you mask, you always stamp the item you want to be at the forefront of your image first and then you mask it off and stamp the background uh, images after that. And obviously you can get more and more complicated by adding different masks and different layers. So it adds depth and dimension. This stamp set alongside with the um, uh, thinlets is great for um, adding, doing decoupage and adding dimension to your card that way as well. Thank you very much. My name is Fiona Stanton and this is from V's Papercraft. Thank you very much.